Now that we've got our PDE ratios calculated out, we need to go ahead and graph the data that we're going to try and model. And what we're going to do is we're going to try and model the prices as a function of the year since January 1st, 2013, and the trailing four quarters of earnings versus the year since 1-1-2013. Now the best way to do that is to have in another part of the table just the things that we want to graph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on A1. I'm going to drag all the way over to F8. And then under Edit, I'm going to say Copy. Now I'm going to go down below this, so it looks like to about A10. And I'm going to say Edit. But this time I'm going to say Paste Special and I'm going to have it paste the values only. So all those formulas I put in before, they're not going to go in. It's only going to be the numbers. All right, so since I only want to graph these, these, and these, I'm going to get rid of everything else. So first, I'm going to click on this 10. I'm going to drag. So I've selected those rows. And then I'm going to right click and say, delete rows 11 through 13. I also don't need for the time being the quarterly earnings here. So I'm just gonna select those. So I clicked on E at 10 and then dragged over to here. And now I can just press the delete on the keyboard. And I could do the same thing here too. So the only thing I'm gonna do the only thing I'm going to graph are just these three columns. So I'm going to click in the years since 1-1-2013 uh, and while holding the mouse I'm going to drag over to here and then go up to insert chart. So it's try to put a chart title in for me and that's not really what I want and I'll fix it later but it's not even the right chart type. So I'm going to click this Charts tab, Scatter, and then choose a scatter plot. You'll notice that what was at the top of the columns here matches up with the legend. The only thing I need to do is now change some of these other things here. So I'll go over to Customize, and for a chart title, I'm going to put in Verizon, space parentheses, VZ, the ticker symbol. If I scroll down to where I see axis, horizontal axis, remember that's years since 1 1 2013. So years since 1 slash 1 slash 2013. Then I'll go up and say left vertical. So that's going to change this over here. And now I'm going to tell it dollars per share because all of these numbers the price and the earnings was reported in dollars per share now I'll go ahead and click insert now it's a little hard to see it here so let me press control minus and I can grab the top of it here and move it around if I want that looks pretty good there and that's what I want you to turn in for this technology assignment in later assignments, we'll go ahead and modify this a little bit. We'll go ahead and uh, change the scaling down here. And we could also change the same way this. And we'll also figure out what the equation of a line is that passes through a pair of points here and a pair of points here.